Right, so this is my overview of the MiArm controller um, that I built using very, very little money. Um, I won the MiArm uh, uh, EMF from radworm.co.uk uh, and they very nicely sent me a goodie bag, so the big, all the armature, which is the orange stuff, and the servos was part of the kit, and I needed to build some way of controlling it and using it as a robot arm. So. What I did was I spent the princely sum of four pounds going on eBay for a servo or imp or sensor shield, which was two pounds, and two little joystick components, which are very, very cool, and they were a pound each. So the total cost of the add-ons was four pounds. I already had the Arduino, because I'm super interested in Arduinos, and that sits under the shield, you can just see it there and then connected the servos and everything up to the me arm and then I had to write the code which was very interesting and well worthwhile and I thoroughly recommend it the reason I spent such a little amount of money on it is because I thought it, A, I'm very very tight-fisted at the moment when it comes to money and spending out on things and B, I thought it would be very handy for educational um, establishments to be able to provide components en masse to school children, which was the same reason the MiArm was developed. So, this is how it basically all goes together. You've got the servos, which are these wires, all connected, the servo wires are connected to the digital outs on the servo, servo board, and they correspond to various pins. The nice thing about this is the ground and voltage pins, it, or it has copies of the ground and voltage pins, so you can just plug it straight into the board. You could also, if you're going to use analog voltage, hook it up into these um, little ports, which take the little servo plug-ins, but I didn't want to use analog pins for that, and all those um, basically correspond to the analog pins. So I was using digital pinouts, so they all plug in in these little blocks. Each servo's got its own little three-pin connector, which connects to the little three-pin connectors you can see there. So you've got three pins in little grids, and there's a little block of four in the middle that correspond to eight, nine, ten, and eleven pins on the Arduino, and those are all connected across thanks to the uh, ser servo shield. And then on the analog pins, which is why I didn't want to use them, these green and yellow wires come back to the X and Y axis connectors on the joysticks. So yeah, this also means that you don't have to worry about which servo controls which part of your robot arm because you can work that out after you've coded it. So all the code can be cut and paste and copied for however many servos you want to use. And if you find that the servos um, aren't responding to your preferred mo motions on the joysticks, and these move in two axes, um, you can just swap them around. You just swap around these little pin pins here and you can change which which axis of which joystick um, controls which part because on here you've got a spindle servo which turns the whole mechanism round and you've got um, two servos that control the arms actual movement one on each side and they control different parts of the arms movement one raises the front part of the arm and one moves the vertical part of the arm forward and backwards and then you've got a little servo here that one there which controls the grabber mechanism is all the jaw. So yeah, so if you find that your joysticks aren't plug aren't running the right bit, because you probably want the jaw to be say an up-down mo movement so you can open up the jaw easily, and the main spindle servo that actually turns the whole mechanism to the left or right on the same one as I've done, and you can swap those around. But it also means if you add anything other th anything else that's connected with the servo you can just keep adding pins and stuff. And these little joysticks, I haven't hooked up anything to them as well, but they also contain a little switch. You can see that little switch go down. So you've essentially got another function. So you could possibly, if you wanted to, key the switch into the jaw of the servo, of the of the robot instead. But they're very nice. They're very nice little servos. Very nice little joysticks rather and the servos came as part of the Mi Arm, but these are very, very cheap. The uh, individual servos, if you're going to order from China, come in at about £1.50 for plastic geared ones and £5 for ones with metal gear teeth, and the metal gear teeth are a bit sturdier. 
So yeah, and I've uh, turned. I've actually taken the liberty of turning round the actual arm section on the base, um, so it gave me a place to blue tack down the Arduino and the servo shield. And the little buttons are just blue tacked wherever you want them. Ideally, this could all go in a case, and uh, I may well put it in a case if I didn't intend to keep the project as is. So that's our overview of the components and how they go together. And uh, now we're going to have a look at the code. So here's the Arduino code. So always, if you've edited any code and you're going to upload it again, put in all the credits where credit's required. And the first part is naming the servos you're attaching to the program. So we've got serv servos 1, 2, 3 and 4, called my servo. Then we move on to, it's a very simple code, um, defining the pins for the potentiometers or the joysticks. Now the joysticks have two potentiometers, so you've got potentiometer X and Y for the first two, and Z and J. Um, for the second two, so those are pin analog pins 0, 1, 2 and 3. So that's those set up, so we told it what the servos are called. Okay, and uh, we're saying analog read to give a value for those potentiometer pins. Um, again, X, Y, Z and J. And now this little bit of code maps the value of each of the servos, which is going to be between what, 0 and 1023, across to the servos, which deal with 0 to 179, or 180 degrees of motion. So that scales it so it's a, a number, the value from the potentiometers is something that, the, that is something that the servos can read. And then this part just moves the servos into position. So once you've set everything up, you translate the value from the um, potentiometer pins and transfer it directly to the servos. So it's a very simple little program. It's just a conversion from the original um, potentiometer controller and I think it's just called knob, servo knob. There we go, or servo sweep. So it's part of the Arduino programming that we've changed for here. There will be a link on the video to uh, say where that's been uploaded to. So you can actually go and get this code as well as a circuit diagram of the whole thing. So yeah, very, very simple. And we'll cut back to the knee arm action. Thank you. 